What's up guys, Baker here. Today I'm back with another tutorial and uh, this has been a, an extremely highly requested tutorial. This is the Sam Colder Transitions tutorial and it is so highly requested that I get them so often at this point I can pretty much guess what they're asking for when they uh, request some tutorial. So I figured hey I might as well just uh, show us transitions. The two that I'm going over today will be the zooming transition and the luma fade transition which is kinda like the sky dissolving or whatever. So where this really kinda started to blow up was on his uh, Hawaii V1 video and that was back in uh, February and people were just going crazy just absolutely drooling over these transitions and you know this guy travels all over the world and makes pretty sweet videos so um, so I figured I'd show you guys how to uh, do it well luckily for you I already have tutorials um, this one's the automatic smooth transitions this is uh, almost a year old now so I got a tutorial on that if you want to check out the zooming sliding rotation kind of transitions and I also already have the luma fade transition which is uh, really old like over three years old so but in case you don't want to watch those videos right now I'm just gonna do a quick demo and uh, show you how to do it so let's jump into After Effects so I downloaded a copy of his Hawaii video here just so I can uh, kinda compare and take a look at what we got so you can see here we got uh, you know a clip and it's zooming out and goes to the next one zooms out more and those are just pretty cool zoomy transitions I don't have the original footage of this video so what I'm going to do is just take a still frame of each shot and uh, try to show you how it works. So you can see here I have one still frame, another one, and another one. So just pretend these are videos, these could be your videos, and you want to slice these to the beat so you can sync it up real nice. And all you need to do is first head over to this tutorial over here, Automatic Smooth Transitions, download the preset that I made, makes it super easy, anyone can do this and all you have to do is make a new adjustment layer go ahead and search up your Baker easy transition preset I got all the instructions in the other video and just drag it onto your adjustment layer let's go ahead and push U close out these expressions and open up the curve editor so we can see our keyframes let's just zoom in here and when the uh, start of the next clip happens this frame right here just take these keyframes and drag it so the third one lines up on that line. Then go to the first keyframe, trim your adjustment layer, last keyframe, trim your adjustment layer, and let's just jump into the settings real quick. First thing you want to make sure is this anchor point is right in the center. So in this case, it depends on your composition, but I'm going to do 640 and 250. All we have to do is just go to any effect that says edit, like scale strength here, and just plug in a number. I'm going to say 100. And just like that, you got one clip zooming into the next. Now, in the example over here, it was zooming out, so let's just change this 100 to negative, maybe negative 50. Let's just see how that works. Kind of nice. Now, if you have another clip over here, the process is extremely simple. Just take your adjustment layer, duplicate it, slide it over. Let's push you so you can see those keyframes again and just make sure that third keyframe is lined up on that first frame of the next clip right there piece of cake so if we check it out we got one clip zooming out next clip zooming out boom let's add a little bit more life to this by going to the end of the first clip let's change the scale from 100 go to the beginning to let's say 120 so it's slowly zooming out the entire time and then zooms out really fast and this adjustment layer method works out really well because you can do a ton of different other keyframes to the layers and it won't mess up the transition at all. So again, first part of the next clip, let's scale this at 120. Go to the end, 100. First part of the next clip, scale 120. Keyframe, move forward, 100. So we got a little bit of movement, transition, movement, transition, Boom. Now let's compare that to his video. Let's just see how close this is. So zoom comparison. I got his uh, original video on the top. I got mine on the bottom. 
and let's uh, just go ahead and ram preview this. Wow, that's almost, the timing is like, almost exact. Now you can tell the uh, anchor point's a little offset. It's not directly in the middle, but that's okay. You can customize that. But if you want to have an exact copy of Sam Colder's transition, all you got to use is my preset. So that's pretty nifty. I go into more detail in the original tutorial. Go ahead and check that out. Next quick little run through will be the Luma Fade transition. So if we go forward a few more clips, you can see one clip has the sky kind of dissolving away and then you got the palm trees and then you got this guy diving you know and the sky again kind of dissolves and he's flying in the air and then you got the ocean kind of coming in with the waves the uh, white foam coming in first so this is a luma fade transition where the fade depends on the brightness of the clip so again I'm just gonna use you know his footage without the transitions I just tried to trim it before anything happened and I'm gonna show you how it works so let's say you got one clip here and you got the next one down here first thing you want to do is make sure your clips overlap next you want to decide what clip is being dissolved is it the first clip that dissolves away or is it the second clip that dissolves on and it depends on you know what you want to be left or what you want to see next so in this case I want the current clip to fade away but I want to leave the trees until the very end so you have a couple options first and easiest option is to search up a luma key very simple all you gotta do is go to the beginning of the overlap and you want to key out since we're doing the sky you want to key out the brightest first so key out brighter and let's just adjust the threshold so nothing's gone looks good there keyframe move forward so we can still see that clip there we go and just adjust this so whoop and everything's gone so we can scrub through this and just see the sky dissolves now the problem with this is it's very harsh you get a very harsh edge and even if you use the feather it's blurring the edge but it's not blurring the transition you know what I mean if you look at his example you can kinda of see the the transition is soft it's not necessarily the edge that's soft so if you want to do something like this you have to do a slightly different approach instead of a luma key go ahead and just delete that we're still gonna have an overlap here what you want to do is take the clip that gets dissolved which is clip one in this case let's go ahead and duplicate that this is optional but go ahead and apply a tint effect to decolorize it just black and white like that go ahead and throw on an exposure effect and then lastly levels now let's just bring the uh, inputs kinda close together for now and you'll see why that's important in a second but since we want the trees to be showing up last that's the dark part of the image that means we want our clip here let me uh, rename this to clip one mat real quick so we don't lose a track of what's going on take your clip one since we want to show up in the dark areas of itself you want to do luma inverted and you can see right away that the sky is see-through and you can see behind it so all we have to do now is go to our mat and adjust the exposure so I'm gonna start when everything is turned on everything's visible click that go forward and adjust the exposure until the sky fades away and you get just the trees and you keep going until the trees disappear now the reason I have the levels here is because this is a pretty soft see you can see the uh, transition here from uh, see-through to opaque it's very soft if you want to kinda crunch that you want to adjust your levels even more and slide these closer and you can get a harsher edge you can see like this and it gives you a more defined transition so you got options you can have it defined or you can kinda smooth it out and have it kinda nice so I'm gonna run through one more example just to show you guys how easy this is so when he's jumping off and the sky disappears it's gonna be the exact same procedure so we have our clip here this clip is gonna dissolve away so what I'm gonna do is take my clip duplicate it call it clip 
to matte, throw on a tint, throw on exposure, and throw on levels. I'm going to right away just uh, crunch this down so you can see a nice black and white matte. We want the dark parts of the image to show up, so we want Luma inverted. And there we go. Now you can just keyframe your exposure from regular to see through and then boom. Now if you want it backwards, all you got to do is do the Luma mat, the regular Luma mat, and you can keyframe this to have the darkest parts of your image disappear and then be left with the bright parts. I don't know why you would, but that is an option. The typical thing to do with these sky dissolve transitions is to get rid of the sky first, which is the brightest part. So typically you're always going to use the Luma invert. This last ocean piece where you want the white waves to show up first, you're just going to duplicate that clip and then use a regular Luma mat. So that's pretty much it guys. Like I said, all the info is uh, in these tutorials already. Be sure to check those out if you want more in-depth tutorials. But yeah, this guy makes cool videos so I just thought I'd share some of his uh, techniques that he uses and uh, they're right here. So go ahead and download these. I don't care if anyone uses them. Feel free to like and comment and uh, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter if you got any questions or any other tutorial requests. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Alright, peace.